What's happening? Philip Appleton, Appleton Electric. Hey, today guys, I'm going to teach you how to bend a shepherd's hook. Let's get it. This is episode 8 of my pipe bending video series, and we are doing it on the shepherd's hook today, guys. Now, there's many ways to bend this, but we're going to do it this way. And what a shepherd's hook is, it's a type of bend that resembles the shape of a shepherd's staff, and it's used in installations where the conduit needs to change elevations or directions without sharp angles. Okay? What does that mean? Well, in this example, let's pretend that this is a building. Okay, this is the building rooftop. That's where all the mechanical equipment it is. And we're running a raceway, and we need to go through the roof. Okay, so this is when you would bend a shepherd's hook because it allows you to, to run your raceway horizontal. Then you're changing directions without the use of a, a fitting uh, such as an SLB, an LB, something to that nature. Okay. Um, also, they're great for when you're running a conduit down a wall and you need to turn that corner, but you sent tweaked out Timmy to get your materials and he, he forgot the SLB. Well, you can use the shepherd hook to turn that corner. Okay, I don't, I don't like the way it looks aesthetically, but in a jam, the shepherd's hook, the reason they call it the shepherd's hook, because it might be your saving grace on Friday night. Today I'll be using my ideal 74002 black iron bender to bend this three quarter inch EMT. But first I want to go over the two different types of shepherd's hooks there are out there. One is, is what we're bending right now. This is what I call a traditional shepherd's hook, okay? Where it's, it goes up, it loops up and goes down. The other shepherd's hook is what I call a shepherd's staff. It's where you put a shepherd's hook, but you make it with an offset. We will do that later in my advanced pipe bending classes. Today, we are just going to focus on uh, the traditional style of shepherd's hook, okay? Also, what a shepherd's hook is great for is if you're running pipe up a wall and need to go into a crawl space, this is the bend for you, okay? This is a, a raceway that was ran, not by me, but um, they're great for going up a wall. Um, so step one, we need to figure out how far we want our pipe to go down the roof or around the wall. That's going to determine where we make our first mark. Um, so for this example, I'm going to want, I'm just going to call it 24 inches. Okay. So, uh, my bender stubs to six inches. So 24 minus six is what? It is 18. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this out on the 18 inch mark skeet 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 and we are gonna make our first bend uh, from the floor so i've made that line i've lined up with my bend arrow i'm gonna bend a 90 um, and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flip that pipe around because we want more than a 90. we want to put as much as we can in this bend so i'm gonna get this in the upright position i'm gonna seat it and then i'm gonna bend the hell out of it I'm going to try to get to uh, uh, 110 as much as I can bend it. But you got to be careful because this is where you might kink your pipe. So I'm going to push all the way down until that pipe hits that foot pedal. I mean, we are over bending it as much as we can without kinking the pipe. As you can see right there, now we have a, a downward, uh, it's not a 90, it's a whatever that is but uh, with no, no kinks. So what we're gonna do now is we need to make our second line to where we're gonna give our kick. We're gonna kick that back, right, until that part of the raceway is up and level. That's what's gonna give us our shepherd's hook. So um, what I do is I put, I use uh, my bender and I get as close as I can to that radius to where I'm not gonna be bending on the radius. Uh, the, the, the tighter you have it, the better it's going to look. So I want to go ahead and mark that out, okay? Um, and then we are going to get our bender. We're going to bend this in the upright position. So we're going to put the pipe in the bender. We're going to line it up um, with that bend arrow. And then we're going to look down it like a rifle because we don't want to dogleg it. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to kick that pipe back. This is where you kind of just eyeball it and, and use your judgment. Uh, maybe kick it, set it down, check it. But uh, I nailed it first time. And there you go, guys. A perfect shepherd's hook. 
and uh, let me show you just so you believe me there is no kinks in the raceway I leave the pencil marks on guys so you see where we bent this is a tutorial okay it's not final product not finished product but that is it for my pipe bending video series we have completed episode 8 and I want to thank every one of you that has watched all my videos and commented even if you were negative um, don't worry I'm gonna go over everything in my advanced pipe bending classes and show you the 200 ways to take a knockout out okay but um yeah we went through all these bends um, and some more but looking forward to the next video series where we're going to get into advanced pipe bending. My first uh, class is going to be on back-to-back -back 90s, guys, and uh, with an offset into it. So look forward to that. That's going to be episode 9. Once again, thank you for your support. I appreciate all the follows, the likes, and uh, I'm going to get these videos coming soon.